hello guys welcome to engineers academy do hit the subscribe button if you are here for the first time now we are going to solve these two problem which says that caller a is connected is shown to a 50 pound load and can slide on a frictionless horizontal rod determine the magnitude of force p required to maintain the equilibrium of the collar when x equals to 4.5 inch and when x equals to 15 inch and in the second problem it is said that the same collar a is connected is shown to a 50 pound load and can slide on a frictionless horizontal rod determine the distance x for which the collar is in equilibrium when p equals to 48 pounds so in the first problem we are given two values of x and we are required to find this p value and in the second problem we are given the p value and we are required to find the distance x so let's say this is my collar a and the collar is subjected to three forces one is the tension in the rope so the tension in the rope will be equal to the weight so this is that tension t which is equal to 50 pounds and this force p is acting towards the left and since this rope is pulling this collar in the upwards direction so this collar will be in contact with this pipe uh, and the contact will happen at the top surface so the top surface will apply the normal force on the collar in the downward direction so we have that normal force in the downward direction now the the problem says that determine the magnitude of force p to maintain equilibrium so this collar is in equilibrium so this means that the resultant force is equals to zero or we can say that the sum of all the forces in the x must be equal to zero and the sum of all the forces in the y must be equal to zero so now if we resolve this uh, t force into its components so we will have this t will have one component in this direction and it will have one component in this direction and if we consider some angle theta here so then this component will be the cos component and this component will be the sine component so let me represent those components so this is this will be our cost component that is in the upward direction like this and here we will have the sine component like this so this one is t cos of theta and this one is t sine of theta now we are given uh, some dimensions as well we are given this 20 inch distance and we are given this x we are given the x values so if we consider this triangle then this is that x distance the horizontal distance and from here to here the direct distance from a to b like this in the vertical direction is 20 inches so now if we draw another triangle which shows the dimensions so we have that 20 uh, inches distance like this and this is that x and this AB represents the hypotenuse of that triangle for dimensions. So now if we apply the um, summation of forces along X, that must be equals to zero since this collar is in equilibrium. Now we have this sine component in the X. So we can write that this is plus t sine theta towards the right is our positive x direction remember so so t sine theta is in the positive x and this p force is in the negative x so you will write minus p and this is equals to zero so from this we can write that t sine of theta is equal to p or we can say that p equals to t sine of theta so let me write that this is p equals to t sine of theta now from this triangle um, we can say that sine of theta is the perpendicular divided by hypotenuse so we can say that sine of theta is t and the perpendicular is x and the hypotenuse is a b length so we can find a b length using the pythagoras theorem so we can say that a b square is equal to x square plus 20 square and if we want to find a b length so we need to take the square root so this is a b square so now putting this a b length in this equation we can find p values for problem for the first problem so p 
equals to t and this is x divided by x square plus 20 square under the square root so this is the equation for p now we are given two x values so the, so the x value is 4.5 inches for part a so for part a we can say that x is equal to 4.5 inches now just plug in this value in this equation let's say this is our equation one so p equals to now the tension value is given the tension value is equal to the weight so t is 50 and this is 50 and x is 4.5 here 4.5 square plus 20 square under the square root so this will give us the p value for x equals to 4.5 inches so this is 50 multiplied by 4.5 divided by 4.5 square plus 20 square so this gives us the p value equals to 10.98 pounds approximately when x is equal to 4.5 inches now in part b of the first problem the x value is given which is 15 inches so for part b the x is 15 inches now again plug in this x equals to 15 in that uh, equation one so we will have p equals to 50 into 15 divided by the square root of 15 square plus 20 square so 50 into 15 So this gives me P equals to 30 pound. So when X is equal to 4.5 inches, P value is 10.98. And when X, the distance between uh, point A and B in the horizontal direction is 15 inches, then P is 30 pounds. So this is the solution of this uh, 263 problem similarly the next problem is caller a is connected so now we are given p value and we have to find the x so again we can use that uh, equation one now in equation one we have that same equation and we need to find the x value now p is given p is 48 t is 50 and we want to find the x value so that is x if i divide both sides of equation by 50 so we will have x divided by x square plus 20 square under the square root that is equal to 48 divided by 50 so 48 divided by 50 this gives me 0 0.96 now we want to find x if we need to take the square on both sides of equation. So this will become x square divided by x square plus 20 square and this is 0 0.96 square. If I multiply both sides of equation by this, by this denominator, so that will be x square equals to 0 0.96 square into x square plus 20 square and this is x square 0 0.96 square x square plus 20. and similarly we can we can bring this term to the other side of the equation so it will be x square minus 0 0.96 square x square equals to 0 0.96 square into 20 square and similarly we can take um, the x square common from both of these terms so that will be we can write that this is x square into 1 minus 0 0.96 square equals to the same thing similarly we can write that x square is equal to 0. Point, this is 0 0.96 in square into 20 square So if we divide both sides of equation by this, so we will have x square equals to 1 minus 0 0.96 square. And similarly, we want to find x. So we need to take the square root on both sides of equation. So we will have that x value. So this is, um, 
So this gives me x value equals to 68.57. So x is equal to 68.57 inches. Now, in order to have that color in equilibrium under the action of um, this P equals to 48 pounds and that weight of 50 pounds, the X value needs to be 68.57 inches. So, this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope this will help you in your learning. Do subscribe Engineers Academy for the solution of such more problems from Vector Mechanics for Engineers by Bear and Johnston.